let us see how we can evaluate this without calculator. So a very simple way of doing this is to look at this. We have two decimal places here and we also have two decimal places here. So that means we can multiply numerator and denominator by 100 so that automatically we have 81 then all divided by 225 and then we can take the square root of that and then multiply by the square root of 10 raised to the power negative 3 and then because the basis are the same 10 and 10 and then according to indices we can subtract the power since they are dividing each other in division we subtract power so we say negative 3 minus 5 that is subtracting the power now so that means the square root of 81 is 9 and the square root of 225 is 15 and then all multiplied by 10 raised to the power negative 8 and then because of this root sign square root sign means raised to the power of half so this becomes in its lowest term 3 in 9 is 3 all divided by 3 in 15 is 5 then multiplied by 10 raised to the power negative 8 multiplied by half because we are multiplying powers in indices like this so this multiplied by this it will give it will give us negative 4 so this 3 divided by 5 will give us 0 0.6 and then multiply by 10 raised to the power negative 4 and now for us to move this decimal point once to the right hand side so that this becomes a whole number we need to do something to the power of this so when we move decimal point to the right ones we have to subtract one from that power so we say minus one because we are moving it once so we say minus one and then finally we have six times ten raised to the power negative five as the final answer so please subscribe to this channel so that i can get more videos like this thank you